downtown Hamilton, late night. And Tim, what do you have for us right now? Well, as expected, I bring the Pop-Tarts. Yes, nice empty calories. I know you love them. This flavor is red velvet. It was donated by the cameraman's wife. Thank you, uh, cameraman's wife. So while he's shadow boxing shadows that he's boxing, I'll dig in here. So Pop-Tarts, uh, we've covered a wide, wide variety over the years on Brian and Tim's show on ReviewTheWorld.com. I've never had a red velvet. Now, red velvet, when I think of the actual cupcake, it's decadent. It's mm -hmm. moist. It's got like a buttery, creamy um, um, frosting on top. Uh, I think of classiness. I feel like I should be wearing a suit and tie. You're, yeah, you're, you're, you're a little more dressed up than I am today. Hey, man. I live to please. Oh, that actually smells very pleasant. Oh, you're not kidding. And yeah. uh, so it's got kind of a red hue, uh, kind of crimson. And you've got some red sprinks up top. And uh, I mean, it looks the part. Um, Let's see, and, and the frosting's white, so I'm going to assume vanilla. I actually quite enjoy that. That's um, just got right the right amount of filling there because it's not terribly dry. I can't say what a toaster would do for this. I almost don't know that I would want this toasted. It's actually is uh, quite good cold. Brian, your thoughts? Interior and some more white cream. And my first bite was from the outside. You want to kind of go inside and really get to the guts of a pop tart before I, I fill before you can really say whether it's good or not. And uh, here I go. This chewing brought to you by AstroTurf. Buy some. Mm. I was always told you need to chew 32 times before you swallow. Now I probably maxed out that high. I probably maxed out at about 10 there, but no. Um, so it, it seemed, as I kind of overheard, you were kind of thumbs up on this? Yes, I'm, I'm a thumbs up. You know, it's not bad. It's, it's certainly not bad. I, do, I, I don't know if it really captures, um, uh, you know, the red velvet. I mean, it might be a difficult flavor to really, you know, get across. Um, I mean, it is pretty good. It's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Could, is there anything that you can think of off the top of your head that they could have done differently or, or, or to improve upon this? Well, um, they could have done something with the flavor of the frosting uh, to kind of bring it a little bit more in theme. Because right now, this is just your normal, standard uh, Pop-Tart frosting. Beyond and that... And yeah. I think that's maybe my, my, my hold up is that, like, if I had on a blindfold, not for any kind of weird kinky stuff, but if I was just wearing one, I happen to be on this street corner, and you put this in my mouth, I think that I would not think it was Red Velvet Cupcake. I would think it was generic Pop-Tart. Especially, like, the, the stuff up top. I mean, it just doesn't really pack that punch um, but is it sweet is it is it fun will will children and, and young youngsters like it probably so I'm kind of in a I'm in the middle of the road here uh, I can't fully endorse it but uh, it's not bad and Tim I, I'm, I'm assuming you have another one in there mm -hmm. unsheathe it if you would there can be only one I'm still waiting for that remake well he won and we all lose Hey everybody, it's Brian. I'm Tim. And we have a mystery game. Uh, we can't really source where this comes from. I certainly didn't bring this to the table. Mm -hmm. Our producer is shaking his head no. Kesmet. Um, it is fate. Bold proclamation. It's a modern game of... Yacht? I almost wonder if they're trying to say Yahtzee or... I don't know. Yacht? But whatever. It's been around 35 <laughs> years and that's as of 1998, which is the date given on the box. So... Um, it's, uh, it's, it's kind literally, of... this is completely foreign and new to us. Mm -hmm. uh, we're literally going to open it up, small tech contents, and try to play a game as quick and as sloppily as possible. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to follow the, the, the rules to a T, but we're going to try to do a rough approximation of them. Mm -hmm. uh, without saying anything else, let's, let's get our dice on. Let's roll, brother. Okay. All right, as I said, completely live, unorthodox, uncut, uncensored. We're just doing it. And uh, I know that sounded a little uh, naughty. Um, is this supposed to be fun? Check out our other exciting. I guess this this is like a circular thing, a, a cup that you're supposed to roll in. I don't think Ooh, this is we a got cup. A this is like a variety. this is like a pencil holder. I don't think. Uh, oh, we'll just do it. Roll it with the hands, just like you used to roll those drugs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Here are the rolls. Got them? Good. <laughs> um, here's the score sheet. I guess Tim, as I roll, you can tally up my. I guess I'll trust you. Okay. Um, we, we've looked briefly over the rules. Um, we're not exactly sure we understand them all. There we go. 
What are you talking about? We're veritable experts. We research this stuff. So uh, the dice, uh, red, green, and, and black are the different colors of the die. And I'm just going to roll, and we're going to get started here. Um, that does not count. We're going to say you, you, on you the table counts. You didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So I got a three, a three, a five, and a four. From our very rudimentary understanding of the game, you want to keep, uh, two, you know, you want to keep a, a, of the same number. Now, Tim, I also notice here that I have, um, sorry, let me use the unofficial. I have uh, two pair, which is of the same color. Mm -hmm. So uh, give me points for that, whatever oh, they might be. Okay. Um, I have. Well, that's about it, I think, as far as uh, the bonus ones. Mm -hmm. there's, there's two sections. Let me just at least explain that basic function. There's the basic section, which is simply just the adding up of numbers. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's the Kesmet section, and these are the special ones, like full house, straight, three of a kind, etc. Um, so um, I'm going to roll again with my three remaining dice. Mm. Now, he he here's the... I guess we've already encountered a problem because on the the uh, example that they use in the second roll, the person had gotten another of their previous. Number. I mean, do I keep these two sixes and then roll this? You know, I wonder if this is playing by poker rules because I mean, it, in poker, if these were you know cards, yeah. you know, you this would be two pair, and if you, if I were to get three of a kind, three of a kind would beat two pair. But if I only had a pair, that would beat. Yeah, but I'm not sure if you want to keep those sixes or re-roll them here. I'm trying to... Would I, would I, I guess the two options would be to either keep these two sixes and then roll my fifth and final separately and hope that I get a six or a three, or um, just re-roll all three for my final roll. Um, well, carpe diem. Um, just to keep it a little bit more interesting and take a bit more of a risk, we'll say we're going to take these away. I, I went with threes. I, I need to stick with threes. The sixes uh, are wiped clean. And... Uh, I didn't get any more threes, so um, I guess six. Uh, you have uh, two pair then. So I have uh, which a two is pair. where weird because in poker that's a pair. And then up two here, pair be, uh, what do you get for? so I get four points up here as well, two for each deuce. <laughs> I thought two deuce. who dropped the dookie in the urinal? No, that's twos. Uh, some reason I uh, trays they're called. I get three for each tray, so okay. throw me for six there, brother. Oh, okay. Um, not the most successful round, I would say, for myself, okay. but it's a game of chance, not necessarily a game of skill, so I might still be in the running here. Okay. Most likely not. Yeah. All right, so we're a rolling and a rolling. Okay, we have doubles wow. of nothing, but hold on, one, two, four, five, six, uh, damn, if only I had a three. That having been said, I don't feel like chasing. Uh, do you, you do have. Uh, I don't feel like chasing two of the same color, though. But that is true. So we'll we'll let those two hang out there. Chasing a straight always a bad idea in poker. Well, not always. But they're not the same one, so I think you have to re-roll. You, can you, are those off the board now? Because you're using them as a. As I'm a gonna pair? say I'm not going to re-roll those. Okay. They, they may get me something. They may not. Now somebody. Okay, and now we have a pair of fives. Ooh. Third roll. Oh, oh, three of a kind. So, two. A oh, three of a kind, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. Uh, that is that, I think, with my rudimentary understanding of the game, that this round I would have uh, bested you. Yeah, we don't, I don't necessarily know what you, what points you get for uh, like the three of a kind and the straight. Mm -hmm. I don't see any uh, where it says that here. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it might be in the manual. But yeah, I, I think if we were playing, uh, you had won that one. Now, I'm sure uh, there's somebody out there mm -hmm. watching this on their laptop or at the bistro or, you know, I mean, hell, people use phones everywhere now. Uh, mm -hmm. Could be on a roller coaster somewhere. Yeah, they're yeah. watching and they're laughing their balls off or mm -hmm. their clitoris yeah, because yeah. Uh, they, they've they probably played Kazmet, maybe grew up playing Kazmet, maybe be the, the, the regional champion of Kazmet. We might not even be pronouncing it right. And they're probably saying, these guys are idiots. Hey, we went into this blind. Um, Tim's gain and his win was your win. My loss was your loss. Phil and Sharon are pain and agony. And, and in his case, celebratory dance, maybe. We could get... And that's all you could ask for. How much did it cost? Where did it come from? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah.